Hi, I'm Mike Golchinski here with you for Studio 35. In many ways, today's VR experience is breaking down boundaries in society, and we thought we'd explore it in today's gaming essay. So let's strap ourselves in and explore this wonderful technology. From game keys, to VR headsets, to free expansion packs, get money off your favorite game and gaming products by visiting our selection of gaming affiliates in the description. VR Chat saw a flood of new people join the game as more and more people delve into virtual reality for the first time. VR Chat is a free app that you can download on Steam as well as on the Oculus Quests. There are fewer features on the Quest version of the game than on the PC, desktop, or other VR versions, such as running it through Steam. The VR chat community is vast, spanning various age groups and people of all sorts of identities and disabilities. In this video essay, we'll explore how VR chat breaks the boundaries on a variety of these issues. VR chat, or VRC, has broken a lot of social boundaries, especially during these difficult times. People can meet and come together from across the globe while enjoying a variety of activities. From concerts to parties to groups of friends getting together, VRC has it all. The community is simply enormous, so you just have to find the right people to get together to have a good time with. But it's not just the social distancing boundaries that VRC breaks. There are various aspects to being social on VRC in such a way that it has its own culture, especially among a variety of social communities. Mute culture is one of the big things about VRC that breaks boundaries. ASL, or American Sign Language, is possible to some degree in this game. As is, its versions of sign and just the conveyance of emotion between people who are mute or have elected not to talk due to conditions like anxiety. There are even community-created ASL worlds that will teach you not just ASL, but other region sign language. When sign just isn't possible with most people, mutes can also elect to use avatars to write or have built-in markers or pens. In this sense, the heart of hearing community seems to also have found a place to call home among VR chat. There is also a home for LGBTQIA people among VR chat users. There is a certain appeal to being able to be something you're not visually on VR chat. If you're so inclined, you can even be creatures or objects. In this manner, it has allowed people to explore gender and expression in what may consider a safe environment. It's easy to say that this is a comprehensive social platform for many VR users. Still, it also has a PC desktop mode where you can control your avatar and participate socially using a keyboard and mouse or even a controller. From hoodies to hats and mugs to pillows, make a statement in style at the Studio 35 merchandise store. Visit our link in the description. If you so choose, you can even create your worlds and avatars to upload to VRChat. Just make sure you're following the correct terms of service so that you know the devs won't pull down your worlds and avatars. Just about everything on VRC is a community created, and so people have brought out their creativity. With enough time and study of the use of Unity and Blender, you can make whatever you may desire. It doesn't have to be a house, but it can be, or a human. Our rating, 4.5 out of 5. We couldn't help but give VRC a high rating. Sure, it's in early access and has a long way to go, but with the introduction of VRChat Plus, they have hired a larger team. With this larger team, they have been on the hunt for bugs and glitches and improving functionality in such things as the menu. The vast majority of the content is community created, but they need to update every so often to improve upon things themselves. With the release of Udon, the functionality has gotten more significant and it seems we may see some more exciting updates coming from the community soon. And that was Studio 35's take on the impact of VR in today's world. Have you had any VR experiences? If so, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And while you're here, why don't you like this video? As it makes our content more visible. If you like what we do here and you do want to catch future content, you can subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon, which will alert you of future videos when they go live. As we are a young company looking to make a name for itself, Sharing this video across all your favorite social media platforms is also extremely highly appreciated by your team.